lady the cutest dancer there? You saw her dance. That was the dance that they're celebrating Independence Day here. But Siri had to participate, so she danced her little uh, canine butt off. I hope you liked it. Um, please don't forget to like, share, subscribe. If you like this video, thanks for the super chats, the PayPal donations. And again, thanks always for watching. <laughs> Hello, beautiful people. Just a friendly reminder, Invictus Games Organizing Committee. The Invictus Games is an initiative of the Royal Foundation of the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge and Prince Harry in partnership with the Ministry of Defense. The event is being organized by a specially formed committee supported by the delivery team from the London 2012 Olympic and Paramedic Games. Paralympic, sorry, games. I just want to show you this because this is not Harry's. For the life of me, I still don't understand why um, the Royal Foundation has disassociated themselves from it along with the Ministry of Defense. However, why? Why did they do that? Why did they allow Harry to hijack this event, which actually is very important for veterans, knowing full well what he and Meghan Markle were going to do with it? And why have they kept bailing them out financially? It seems that we live in bizarre world, guys. This is the German embassy tweeting the following. Each and every one of you has a story to tell, a story that far more people should hear. Too bad we didn't get to hear it because they brought in Harry and Meghan Markle and Meghan Markle made it all about that cheap fashion show. The Invictus Games have put the spotlight on people in uniform. I mean, is this man insane? Is this man really insane? I think, and this is why this, the mainstream media is so bloody dangerous. Is this man insane? Has he not been reading the newspapers? Did they not do that walk of shame? I mean, I am absolutely. <sighs> okay. The Invictus Games put the spotlight on people in uniform uniform people who do their duty risking life and limb on a daily basis president steinmeier at the closing ceremony um i don't even know where to start with this guys because harry just gave a five minute speech saying that nobody needs to wear uniform to do their duty because he has been banned from wearing a uniform because he's a deserter and he's a traitor and he has betrayed everything the military and this wounded veterans stand for so we have the president stein steinmeier i hope i'm saying the name correctly saying that the invictus games put a spotlight on people in uniform and here comes Harry and says, no, it's not about the uniform. Never mind that. Service is universal. I mean. <sighs> and what is truly sad is that the press is incredibly complicit because they don't they don't do a wide angle shot of Harry and Meghan at the stadium. And there's a very good reason for that. Because they want to give the impression that there is a lot of people and they're getting a lot of people there and they're getting a rock star applause when they walk into the stadium. Why don't they do a wide angle shot so people can see the truth? This is the Daily Mail and most of the press manipulating people and the world into thinking that this thing, this, this scam is a success. And, you know, it's all about Harry and Meghan. People singing happy birthday to, her to Harry. And apparently Meghan, because she apparently she doesn't even know how to sing happy birthday because she didn't sing happy birthday to her husband. So this is what the press is putting out. You would think that they're in the middle of a huge crowd, right? Think again. They were sitting. You see all those people in between Harry and Meghan ahead of them? That's a bunch of people that were there and they were waiting for him. What you see are all those empty seats. So I don't know what's given them a rock star reception. It sure as hell weren't the seats, weren't the empty seats. I mean, why is the press doing this? How much is Boeing paying them? Because Boeing is, is actually sponsoring this, this sham of event. My firm belief that with that walk of shame that Meghan Markle did with the military, 
you know, with wearing shorts and flip flops, surrounded by soldiers wearing their best, their uniforms, and the guys who were competing. This is what she was trying to imitate along with Harry. And this was endorsed by the Invictus Games Foundation. They were trying to emulate the Remembrance Day walk that the Queen and the Royals do to honor their fallen soldiers. Look at the Queen wearing something so solemn, appropriate. Where a Markle is wearing shorts that you can see all her snatch all the way up to her whatever. And of course, flip-flops, open shirt, smiling like an idiot. This is what they w did right now. And I don't know if they did it on purpose to demonstrate that uniform doesn't matter. I mean, Harry said the Invictus games of falling soldiers who wore the uniform and gave their blood, their limbs, their lives for that uniform, their king and country, queen and country, or just their plain country, if they're a republic. But Harry's he's standing there saying, you don't need to wear a uniform. Uniform doesn't matter. So basically, he's telling all those Invictus uh, participants, all those veterans, that what they do, what they did, didn't matter. This is what they were trying to emulate. And this is just my very humble opinion, guys. This is what Megan did with that walk of shame, wearing those nasty flip-flops, her horrible ankles, but it's not just, you know, the outfit itself that she wore an outfit. And it was mer merged, by the way, because immediately came up on crew. I think that's how it's uh, pronounced, what she wore. But that she saw it as an opportunity to merge. I, I don't understand this. This is what she's doing because this picture actually captions it really quite correctly. There's just something not quite right about making money from war and the dead soldiers in the limbs of those soldiers. But this was allowed by the Invictus Games Foundation. I truly apologize for this, guys. But you need to see that this woman wore those cheap flip-flops, even if they were expensive. Walking with wounded veterans in a, in a <laughs> fall in a fake remembrance march surrounded by people wearing their finest. This is who Meghan Markle is. To make matters worse, on top of all the merching she has done, they forced these children to be held hostage to her and to have to sit through her horrible voice. And she is merching the bench. Yes, she went there to sell, 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 honey, because it's all about the cash. It's all about the money, even if she needs to use the children. Why didn't she bring her own children and put them there to read the bench? Why didn't she merch her own kids? Is it because Harry does not allow her to do that? And this is the dig that she threw about. <coughs> That's because Harry won't let her. Because she wants to merge. That's the dig that she threw. And hopefully someday I'll bring Arch and Lily. Yeah. Because Harry didn't want her to bring them. Because she, he didn't want his children exposed to the world. Like all these people at Invictus are being exposed. Just like these poor kids are sitting there. Forced to listen to her crap. Yes. This is a tweet from the Invictus Games Foundation. We wanted to wait until the end of the week to wish Everyone who celebrated their birthday during the Invictus Games Dusseldorf 2023, happy birthday, especially to the 10 competitors who had a birthday during, 20, to, during the Invictus and our patron, the Duke of Sussex. If that is the case, why is Meghan Markle there? Her birthday is in August. And so you know, remember when Harry, I showed you earlier, Harry walking in, and he only had a posse of people that were his, his friends. One of them is actually a buddy of his from Eden. Okay. Uh, they were the ones singing them happy birthday. There was no filled stadium singing happy birthday. It's just those people planted around them to make it look like there was a lot of people there who were singing him happy birthday. So the headlines would be, oh, this stadium sung happy birthday to Harry. Just like when in Canada, the entire stadium sang happy birthday to Princess Diana. That's what they were going for, guys. That's what they were trying to emulate. Do you guys remember that when Princess Diana went to Canada? It was on July 1st.
because Di Princess Diana had the impeccable taste of being born on July 1st, which is Canada's day. And the entire, an entire stadium sang happy birthday to Lady D. So Harry is trying to emulate that about his mom. How at the stadium everybody sung happy birthday to him? We already know it was an empty stadium. We already know that. But I mean, he's copying his mother to a T. So the 20 or 30 people who were there around him, because his stadium was empty, sang the happy birthday because it was already a coordinated thing. This is really horrible because he's exploiting his mother. I mean, it's disgusting. And the comment section under that tweet was brutal. This is one of them. This is one of the nicer ones. What competitors? Why aren't they pictured instead of Harry and Meghan? I hope you understand what you allowed to happen. You turned this into the Harry and Meg privacy Invictus tour. When was the last time Meg called a vet to ask if they were okay? Hmm? No. You can see how she uses the veterans and that disabled child, how she just stood there, took the picture and couldn't get away from that child quicker. I mean, it was like he had some form of repellent. It was just awful. And it's really, truly appalling when you think that Meghan Markle is talking about the importance of family members. And she's talking to a room mostly filled with disabled people due to whatever it was. Samantha deserved to be there because she's going through a war with Meghan. Meghan has put her through war. She has murdered her reputation in front of the whole world. She dedicated an entire chapter under finding freedom or finding freebies to trash her own disabled sister. And Invictus is allowing this to happen because they knew that this was happening and they allowed Megan to get away with everything. All Megan had to do was to show up wearing sport attire, just like the Princess of Wales. You know, when she wore it at the Olympics, even at the Invictus Games, all she had to do is wear a proper dress or dress accordingly because it was not a fashion show and it should have been about the veterans. Do you see the difference? On the right hand side, Princess of Wales wearing a proper respectful attire. And the reason why attire matters is because it's a show of respect. You dress well to show respect and that you think that the event is important. So therefore it deserves you to look your best to dress appropriately with decorum. What do we have? We have Meghan Markle with a cut of, uh, with a jeans, uh, with a shirt half tucked in, thinking that she looks good. Yeah, she's looking good there, right? People say imitation is the best form of flattery. That's true, but I mean, why can't Megan get it right? It goes to show you that no, ma no matter how much money you have, class, decorum, being a lady can't be bought. And instead of the Invictus Games Foundation getting a beautiful lady like this, who is there just, you know, supporting her husband, she's not hijacking the event, looking beautiful, what do you get? Please watch this next clip because Megan thinks that she's somewhere and in, I don't know, and deal or no deal, throwing kisses and she just won the lottery. Yes, seriously, guys. There were so many holes in that dress, just like our holes in all of Meghan Markle and Prince Harry's stories that they tell. She could have worn like a light green under it, like, you know, a piece of clo clothing. Uh, so you wouldn't see all those holes and you would have had a nicer, a nicer like uh, contrast without being skanky. So this is where we are. This is the high note of Invictus Games. It's just awful. If you, if you ask me, I'm sorry, but this is awful. And all of this happened because Harry and Meghan Markle were aware of this and were allowed by the Invictus Games Foundation to hijack 
this event. So to the German embassy putting out this statement that the Invictus Games put the spotlight on people in uniform, people who do their duty, risking life and limb on a daily basis, and this is the President Stein Steinmeier at the closing ceremony. Really? Really? What planet were you, are you on that you have not read the headlines, that you consider this a success instead of a shameful display a shame for the vet veterans and like the rest of the world, the people who actually, actually have seen these two clowns make a circus out of the Invictus Games Foundation and the Invictus Games themselves. I'm going to close with this. Veterans deserve better. <laughs>